As a 12 year art teacher who's taught thousands of students, artists either love it or they hate it. And that demands examination today. Hey, what's up y'all? Welcome back to The Art Mentor. My name is Sean. I'm a veteran art teacher and freelance artist. And today we're gonna take a look at some common underlying issues for why students hate art classes. And it's gonna start right now. The first one we have to get out of the way right away, and I'm gonna take this one on the chin, is that it might be your art teacher. Your art teacher might just sour your experience. It might be their personality. It might be their teaching style. It might be that they're unfocused during class time. Maybe they're not able to pay attention to you. Maybe they only pay attention to certain types of people. It also might be that maybe they just don't know how to deliver instruction. It might be that your teacher doesn't create the support and the resources that you're going to need past the one time that they show the class how to do something. Or it might be that your teacher fancies themselves as an artist in residence where they just want to create their own artwork and during class time, they are only working on their own artwork instead of helping the rest of the class. If this has been your experience, let me know about it down below. And I'm sorry to hear for that, I really am. All art teachers are trying to do one of two things, which is either to provide you with an experience that they did not have, or they're trying to recreate an experience that they had that was really significant and impactful for them. But my friends, I do need to caution you with this. You can't blame the art teacher for everything. And that's why we're gonna get into the rest of these concerns. Another really popular reason why students hate art classes is because they just have this focus where they're chasing style. And what I mean by that is that they're strictly pigeonholed into only doing one thing. Instead of just being open and receptive to all of the skills and techniques being taught, no, instead they're shutting everything down because they're gonna say, that's not anime, that's not manga, I can't do that in animation, I can't do that in 3D. And I'm not bashing any of those, I love them all. Just to give you examples, these are typical things, but one thing I wanna challenge you on is that if you are a young person watching this, you should not be concerned with style because art style is an extremely sophisticated concept and it takes years of skill building. It's not something that you should chase, it's something that should come about organically. It's kind of like the way you find love is when you're not looking for it. And that's exactly how it happens with art style too. So if you are chasing art style and you're closing yourself off to everything because of it, you're really doing yourself a disservice rather than just looking at all the elements and principles of design. Now, this can also lead you to shutting down the art experience because of this. Art classes, doesn't matter what kind it is, all have an entry barrier to them. And what I mean by that is that students will walk into an art class and say, I can't. I can't draw, can't paint, can't do this, can't do that, I can't draw hands, I can't draw monkeys, I can't draw faces, whatever it is, they'll say I can't. And because the I can'ts come into play, they then also create excuses. And I'm gonna tell you right now, there is a definitive hierarchy for what students deem for I can't. So at the top of it is drawing. Below that, I'm gonna say number two is painting. Below that, number three, I'm gonna say is sculpture. Number four, I'm gonna say is photography and digital art. This is typically the order in which you're gonna meet the most heavy resistance. It's like the old saying here goes, if you think you can, or if you think you can't, you're right either way. Because you're going to reap what you sow and you're gonna get what you put out there. Now there might also be other barriers to learn because of this. In our course, certainly entails some type of structured experience. And for some, that's really great because they're gonna get exposed to a lot of things that they never have or they never thought about. But for others, the fact that they are being systematically exposed to things that they may or may not be necessarily interested in right away, or again, they might have some entry barrier to it and they're telling themselves I can This creates initial opposition to it. And over time too, it can start to feel very, very forced. And depending on, again, your instructor, depending on your art teacher, then they have to really combat that really, really suavely. They have to be very intelligent about how they're going about structuring your course so that it's comfortable, so that you seamlessly are moving from one set of concepts to another, to another, and to a medium to another. And one thing that can definitely happen a lot is that if people are jumping around and we're, we're painting and then we're using pastels and then we're doing digital art and then we're sculpting, some people will love that. Some people absolutely hate that because it'll just seem so sporadic and chaotic. But the overall structure of a course can definitely be uh, a turnoff for some art students because they're gonna feel like it's a very forced experience rather than an organic experience. And that can definitely be why some people shut themselves off to it, unfortunately. If this has been your experience, let me know about it. 
One of the things that you have to acknowledge if you're going to be taking art in an academic setting is that you're going to have to meet specific criteria. And regardless of whatever that criteria is, I wanna empower you when I say this, and I'm not dismissing anybody at all, but it's up to you to fall in love with your idea, to exercise your creativity, and to find something that you can do that is going to really electrify you. So for example, myself, I do a lot of commission artwork and yeah, I got some characters that honestly, I'm not very lit up about, but in going through my process and going through my research and creating my sketches for that, yes, then I get, I get fired up and I get really excited for it. And you need to do the same thing too. Just because you're given a set of criteria doesn't mean that your creativity is stifled. Nobody can stifle your creativity except for you because you get frustrated and then you lower your bar for what you're expecting. If this has been your experience, this would be my advice to you so that you don't get discouraged when you have to either grade somebody or you are getting graded in an art course. Now, another big reason people don't like grades is big time because of this. I was actually pointed out to this one by one of my students, but art courses tend to exploit a lot of weaknesses. And this makes people feel so uncomfortable because just to be honest with you, a lot of artists, they just love to just, just stay inside that little comfort zone. It's, it's a nice comfy little nest for them. You think about, you know, if you don't like to do hands, if you don't like to do faces, if you don't like to do animals, these are, if you don't like to do landscapes, these are all common issues that I see people again saying, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. And in our course, it's like, you're going to do that and that and that and that. So what I would encourage you to do is that if this is you, then I would very much encourage you, my friend, to just go ahead and jump in feet first and just be a sponge and drop the I can't ego attitude with it. It's really not going to help you. It's definitely going to, in fact, hurt you very long term because if you run away from everything that you're weak on, then you're really denying yourself a lot of growth potential. Now let's explore some less spoken about reasons why people don't like art class. I have to be honest with you on this. Sometimes the person in the art course is just an unwilling participant. This can be their fault or it may not be. They may be the victim of some circumstances. And there are a lot of really tragic circumstances that a lot of especially public school students have to deal with, a lot of adult situations that they are thrust into and they have too much on their plate than they should. And because of that, it creates a situation where they're just not being receptive. And if this has been you, let me know about it, please, because I feel so bad for y'all on this one. And I personally can relate to you on that. I, I dealt with a lot of things and I dealt with some trauma when I was a kid too. But art was my refuge from that. And I recognize that art is not the same way for everybody as it was for me. But nonetheless, yeah, sometimes there are just certain things taking place in that student's life that prevent them from being totally open to everything. It might just be too that at that moment, you just weren't interested in art. You didn't really want to learn about it. You didn't think it was important. I see this a lot with students who are already artists and they just think that everything is beneath them. They think every skill and concept, every single technique that they'll do in class is just totally beneath what they are currently able to do. And they just don't see the value in it yet. You want to know something really sad? I have seen this so many times where a student becomes disinterested in art and therefore closes themselves off from artistic experience because they have an unsupportive environment. So for example, a student might have parents that don't want them to do anything in art, that don't want them to pursue it, that see the passion, they see the fire inside of them, but they dismiss them, they put them down, they tell them that it's not gonna amount to anything, they dissuade them from pursuing it. It also might be their spouse. It might tell them that it's stupid, it's not worth their time, they need to do things that make money. This may also be a friend circle. They all make fun of you if they're constantly making little cracks at your drawings. This can be so harmful and hurtful to an artist. Because of that, a student may become tainted towards the arts and therefore become dissuaded from it. And if this has been you, I'm so sorry. Is this your situation? Let me know about it. And another thing that can be the most hurtful for an artist is this. On the topic of influence, you might have been subjected or know somebody that's been subjected to a corruptive influence. And what that means is that simply put, you might be, or you might have had the experience where you're in an art 
course, and all of a sudden, you and your friend group or the people that you sit with, they all start to talk badly about the teacher, talk badly about the course, talk badly about a project, and what do you do? You start to adopt their personal philosophies. And even if at first you're like, well, I don't think that they're that bad, or like, hey, I think this is kind of fun. Then slowly what will start to happen throughout the course is that the opinion starts to drop and then their attitude starts to drop too and their energy starts to drop and i've seen this so many times but it's not just friends too it can also be parents i've personally seen this so many times in my career where a student will say something to me and i'm like whoa did you did you catch that did you hear that just now those weren't your words those are the words of your parents and you are regurgitating exactly what they just said exactly their attitude for why they don't like the teacher, why they don't like the course, why they don't like the content of it. So what we have to be really cognizant of, especially, and I'm speaking as a parent here, is that parents need to be extremely, extremely aware that what they're saying, their child is going to parent that. And they're not gonna know about it. And there's so many times where I'm like, uh, did you hear that? Those aren't your words, those aren't your thoughts. That, that is not your original concept that you just said right there. You are really repeating what you have been told and I can hear it. And it's such a sad experience when that happens. And this really does dissuade artists from pursuing what they really love, pursuing their passions and pursuing their interests in art. And if this has been your experience, I am so sorry for that too, because that really, really is not fair. And I hope that you have the introspective at this point in your life at watching this video to know mm, those people are wrong and you do need to pursue your passion because it's worth it for you. And if you wanna learn more about how to be a better artist, how to start making money with your artwork, and overall encourage you to be a better artist, make sure you watch these videos right here.